In this example, we're given two functions represented symbolically. That is, we have a formula for them. And um, for each function, we're asked to evaluate the function for a given input, and we're also asked to find an input given an output. Let f of x equal negative 7x plus 3, and let g of x equal x squared plus 12x plus 20. Find the following. So to evaluate f of 5, 5 is our input into the function. So that means that we're going to replace all of the x's in the function with 5. So given that we're working with the function f, um, and f of x is negative 7x plus 3, we're going to substitute 5 in there for x. So we're going to have negative 7 times 5, right, because that's where the x was, plus 3. Yeah. All right, so let's uh, simplify this. Negative 7 times 5 is equal to negative 35. And then we're adding 3. Negative 35 plus 3 is negative 32. Okay, so now we're asked to evaluate g of negative 3. Okay, so now we're working with the function g, and the input value is negative 3, meaning the x value will be negative 3. So g of negative 3 is equal to negative 3 quantity squared, right? So we're inputting negative 3 in for x, plus 12 times negative 3 plus 20. All right, so everywhere I saw an x in that function, I replaced it. Uh, with negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. 12 times negative 3 is negative 36, so we have 9 minus 36 plus 20. Okay, 9 minus 36 is negative 27 okay. plus 20. And negative 27 plus 20 is negative 7. Okay, so you'll notice in these parts, when we're asked to evaluate f of 5 and g of negative 3, um, these are expressions that we're simplifying, right? We're not solving for a variable here, so keep that in mind. Uh, notice how I've got the equal signs uh, lined up, and um, what I'm simplifying is there on the left, and each um, sequential step is um, on the right. Okay, so in contrast, now we're going to solve. So when we say solve f of x is equal to 17, we're looking for the x value where the function f has an output of 17. Okay, so to do that, when we're saying f of x is equal to 17, well, what is f of x? f of x is negative 7x plus 3. Okay, and if that's f of x, and we're saying f of x is equal to 17, I'm going to set that whole expression equal to 17. All right, so I have negative 7x plus 3 equal to 17, and now I need to solve that for x. So the first thing I need to do is subtract 3 from both sides. So I'll have negative 7x plus 3 minus 3 equal to 17 minus 3. So then we have negative 7x equal to... 14, divide both sides by negative 7, x is equal to negative 2. When we get an answer of x equal to negative 2, we want to formally state that the solution set is negative 2, right? If you put negative 2 in the set brackets, that just indicates that you have a set. And in this case, we only have one element in it. Okay, so now let's look at this uh, one with g of x. So it says solve g of x is equal to 0. All right, so what is g of x? It's this quadratic that we're given, right? Uh, x squared plus 12x plus 20. Okay, so if we say g of x is equal to 0, that means we want to set that whole expression equal to 0 and solve that. So this is a quadratic, and um, the first thing you want to look at is does it factor, right? Because if, if it factors, that's the quickest way to solve it. You can use the quadratic formula and such, but uh, I think it's a little, lot easier if it factors. We're looking for factors of 20 that add to 12. And right off the bat, I'm thinking 10 and 2, right? So the factors should be x plus 2 
and x plus 10, right? So I'll have x plus 2 uh, quantity times the quantity x plus 10 equal to 0, right? So now we know that either x plus 2 is equal to 0 or x plus 10 is equal to 0, right? One of the two has to be 0. And over here I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides, x plus 2 minus 2 equal to 0 minus 2, so x is equal to negative 2. And then uh, with this other one, x plus 10 equals 0, we have to subtract 10 from both sides, x plus 10 minus 10 equal to 0 minus 10, so x is equal to negative 10. So the solution set includes negative 10 and negative 2. So I hope you have a sense of this now. Um, if you're given a function symbolically, the difference between evaluating a function when you're given an input and trying to find an output versus solving an equation when you're given an output and asked to find a given input for the function.